Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that taught us this word. I just wanted to do a quick little video on uh, basically just some words of encouragement and, and enduring to the end. You know, um, because we do this work and we endure, you know, the tests and trials and tribulations and all that we're going through, you know, there's going to be a reward at the end, you know. The Lord said he would give us power over the nations to those that endure and keep us his works unto the end. You know, because right now we're at the bottom, we're under these curses. You know, we have to serve these other nations and, you know, catch hell on the daily. But the lucky ones, you know, the, the elect men, you know, if they keep up the works unto the end, you know, they'll be saved up out of here and brought to the kingdom. But as of right now, you know, we're, we're at the bottom and we have to catch this hell. Um, so the first scripture I want to get is Psalms 44 and 13. Uh, Thou makest us a, a reproach to our neighbors and a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. You know, those curses, man, being at the bottom. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, and shaking, a shaking of the head among the people. Yeah, byword, man. People come up with all types of names. You know, coon, you know, wetback, spick, nigger, you know, black, you know, African American. All these names and these bywords that were put on us, you know, in this captivity. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. You know, people look down on us, man. But you know, the Most High is about to flip the script on all that. You know, especially for his men that are out there sighing and crying for the abominations that are done in the midst thereof. It's not a hard thing for the Most High, you know, to change our position, our position on this planet. You know, we're going to go from rags to riches, and you have to keep that in mind. You're going to have to believe that. Uh, second scripture is Daniel 2 and 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Most High, which the Most High's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Blessed be the name of the Most High forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. He And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Yeah, he removes kings, he takes people out of power, and he puts people and nations in power, you know. Because you got guys that believe, um, that don't really believe, you know, that we come from kings and, you know, we rule the planet at once because, uh, the, the natural man, you know, he can't really understand how we be on such a high level, then brought down low to this low level. How did that happen? How did we get our land taken from us? And they watch these movies like 300, and, you know, we were the original Spartans, you know, we ruled. You know, Europe, you know, England, you know, Ireland, all these places, Russia, we were at the very top. But how did we get brought down so low? Really, because, you know, we went off, and the Most High allowed that to happen. He removed us out of power, you know, and put Esau in power. And all throughout history, all the nations had their chance to rule. You know, read the book of Judges, you know, we was in captivity under every nation out there, you know. So it says, uh, he changeth the times and the seasons, he removeth kings and setteth up, setteth up kings, he giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. So real soon, you know, he's about to set up, you know, his men, his elect men. You're going to set them up to be the governing body of the kingdom of heaven. You know, after this third third world war that's about to happen. 
you know it's bringing up right now just a few more prophecies I have to pass and you know we're in that home stretch you just gotta just believe and endure last scripture is uh, Revelation 2 and 26 and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end to him will I give power over the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken in shivers even as I received of my father so yeah that's what we're all looking for man to get that power back as men you know we crave that power you know we don't want to be slaves forever you know we want that power over the nations we want to rule over them man with a rod of iron you know meaning that's going to be a hard rulership for those other nations to deal with you know we're going to be dictators over the entire planet earth man and that's what we're looking for man he that overcometh you know and keepeth my works unto the end overcome what you know, Jacob's trouble overcoming the chip not taking the chip overcoming these temptations these tests out there overcoming these these demons that plague our mind you know keepeth my works unto the end what works you know keeping the loss the best of our ability going out to the streets highways and the byways teaching this word you know our profession enduring in our occupation you know to him will I give power over the nations man so that's what it's about man that you know that words of encouragement this, this, this comforter man you gotta read scriptures like this to keep you going you know and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken into shivers man you'll be beating <laughs> beat many people man that don't wanna adhere to our ways you know that don't wanna get right you know these other nations you're gonna buck up against our law we're gonna force them to follow our law and there's gonna be something that's not gonna do it you know what's the point of having spiritual power and power if you can't you know if everybody's gonna abide by what we say no we're gonna be strict and we're gonna rule over them with a rod of iron even as I received of my father so you know that's it uh, you know just a couple of scriptures you know comforting scriptures you know uh, with that you no know, shalom